Hey everybody, welcome back to Black Lotus. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, the real Silent Hill. You, I, you know, I was kind of surprised when you, I learned that you had never played Silent Hill. Being the big video gamer that you are. Especially you a horror play. fan. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't played all of them. I played the first one and it, it creeped me out. It was really weird. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, Centralia, Pennsylvania. Uh, the... Uh, gateway to hell, I think, <laughs> is what it is, really. But uh, anyway, the first thing I want to do, though, before we get into that, I want to... Uh uh, remind everybody that we have a uh, group over at Facebook and it's called the Black Lotus Discussion Group. And if you're into the topics that we talk about here at Black Lotus, you definitely want to check this out. Go join us. Uh, we're a great bunch of people. Uh, you know, we don't have trolls and we have uh, experts in the paranormal and uh, UFO investigators and all that kind of thing. And so, yeah, definitely check it out. I think you're really going to enjoy it there. Um, and also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our uh, channel here. Um, and uh, as well as uh, if you're a podcast listener, uh, be sure to follow us o over at Anchor. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, the first thing I want to do here is I want to give a big shout out to our friend, the psychic Anne-Marie Balog. <laughs> <clears throat> and the reason I want to do this is because um, not 10 minutes ago before we, we started recording this, um, she, she tagged me in a comment on Facebook. And the reason being is because she lives in, uh, I, I guess about an hour South of, uh, Centralia. And anyway, so a, a friend of hers posted some videos of their trip up to Centralia and she tagged me in this and she says, here's some videos for you. And I had not told her at all that we were about to do this. And I told her, I said, you know, <laughs> I said, that's so weird that you tagged me. We're about to do an episode on this for Black Lotus in about 10 minutes, you know? And she's like, she, she, she said, that's so cool. Uh, uh, you and I are simpatico or something. I'm like, lady, get out of my head. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we had, uh, 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 Anne Marie on uh, on our show at one time, and if you haven't seen it, it was pretty interesting. Uh, she did toe readings. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna drop a link right there right now uh, if you'd like to watch that. But uh, anyway, let's get on with this today. So I apparently back in 1962. Um, the town of uh, Centralia, Pennsylvania was a mining town and they, they did coal mining. And evidently they, they, they were burning the landfill because of some festival or something. They were I think it was out. Memorial Day weekend. Is it, was that what it was? And anyway, you know, the whole town thrived upon this coal mining industry. And I, 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 I guess, you know, it wasn't a large town, but they had something like two, 3,000 residents, right? Right. Yeah, and um, anyway, so they burned, you know, for all in t good intentions, uh, they burned out the landfill. Right, they wanted to make the stink stop for yeah. the festivals, what they, why they burned it. And in the process of doing, and they've done this before, apparently, okay. and, but in the process of doing this uh, then, uh, it caught the coal mine on fire, and it's been burning ever since. And so the reason we say it's the real Silent Hill is because if, if you never played the game Silent Hill, it's kind of based on this whole thing insofar as, the, uh, I, I, I want to say, I can't remember, it's been so long since I played it, but it was uh, a, a large building or a schoolhouse caught on fire and it... Caught it, the mines on fire? It caught everything else on fire and it continued to burn, you know. But uh, yeah, anyway... So, what do you have on this, man? Well, first of all, I want to say that 30 feet below the temperature rises up to 30, excuse me, 1,000 degrees centigrade or uh, Fahrenheit. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, so that's not, it's not just some little fire. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, we're talking burning coals here that are making it hot. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it's going to be, uh, it grows about 75 feet every year spreading out in all directions from the town. That's weird. Yeah, and right now there's not very many people left in that town. I, I heard something like six or seven residents are right. Left. They they just don't want to leave. Yeah. But what's weird is the government came in and basically bought everything in the town, and that leads to the conspiracy theory that right. people are saying is that the government set the fire on purpose to get the land for cheap. Well, yeah, but why? 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 What? what? 
of, of what use would it be to them, you know? Well, especially if it's all burning and there's sinkholes coming right. in and everything else. So, yeah, that's the other fear of, you know, people who live in this town have to worry about the ground opening up underneath them. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand why any, anyone would want to stay there. I mean, it's just, it's the, the, the fumes are toxic. They're noxious. You know, I mean, I just don't understand why anybody want, would want to stay um, unless it's for financial reasons, you know. Back in uh, 1981, there was a 12-year-old kid that actually fell into an uh, open gate that just opened up underneath him while they were playing out. And him and his cousin were playing out in the uh, backyard of his grandmother's house. Yeah, yeah. He and survived, though, didn't he? He survived, yeah. The yeah. other kid was able to pull him out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. luckily. Because if he had what? slid yeah, any more, right? he would have slid into the heart of the fire. And, right. Yeah, there would have been no uh, nothing left to save. You know, when I lived in Florida, that was a constant worry a constant concern is uh the sink sinkhole problems that they have there and i mean w we had sinkholes open up around in our neighborhood and one happened just before we moved here i mean it, like two weeks before we moved here and i was like i'm so glad we're getting the hell out of here yeah i couldn't live someplace that, like, oh, that was happening all the god time. yeah you know scary and it's so unpredictable you know like you said though here there's also the smoke is so bad in some areas that you can get asphyxiated just by the mm -hmm. the smells and the and the gases that are coming up now i did have a friend uh well friend uh, uh one I, I one of our group members at uh, uh the discussion group um <clears throat> and he was saying that uh he's been there and it really wasn't all that dangerous where he was i guess but there are certain parts of the place that are just you can't breathe mm -hmm. you know and I, I, I also heard that there's that one remaining building there is a Catholic church. Yeah, it's the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Ukrainian Catholic Church. And they still actually have services. weekly services. Do they really? And people come from all over the place, and, and it has a large congregation and everything. Weird, man. Yeah. You know, Six it's... people left in the town, and they still have a church that gets full. <laughs> right. <laughs> the power of Christ compel you. you know? <laughs> and... One of the other jokes that goes around the uh, uh, thing is that people say that you can go actually get buried and cremated all at the same time. Yeah, no extra charge. <laughs> yeah, because I guess the, the uh, fire has gone under the cemetery and it's, it, it, you know, as it's spreading. You right. Know? And yeah, so. But, you know, people are saying it's haunted also now. You were telling me about mm -hmm. a story about some people that had gone. Yeah, evidently this guy said that uh, he he and some friends were out there uh, collecting fossils, I guess, and uh, he w they were near one of the fissures, the openings, and um, they thought they had heard a voice come from inside the thing, and but it, w it was very faint. But anyway, as they were gathering these fossils, they heard it again, and it was much more distinct. And I, I guess what it said was, uh, uh, leave this place. But the more I thought about it, I thought, I thought, well, you know, I mean, the fire makes noise, you know, and I wonder if it was just crackling or something like that. Right. So I don't know. But yeah, apparently they think that uh, parts of it are haunted, you know. Well, but, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Yeah. What's interesting is that the government, when the, what's happening is as the, as people move out, they're taking the houses and demolishing them all. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So basically, there's nothing but wasteland on this place. Now. Well, and they paid a lot of the residents to leave. Right. They yeah. gave they gave them the fair market value uh -huh, uh -huh. of their homes, and the people that are staying there, like I said, the the actual still are owned by the government. The houses. Oh, is it? Are yeah. they really? Huh. Yeah, they they bought the whole. Basically, they bought the whole town at this point. Mm -hmm. But they want to actually the people who live there want to rebuild the town. And well, I I'm surprised that if, happening. If, if 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 the if the government owns the houses of these remaining residents, I'm surprised that they haven't evicted them. You know, for safety's sake, right? If, for no other reason. You know, I mean, I just think that's kind of strange. And again, it goes back to that conspiracy issue. Why would they do this in order to buy useless land? You know, I mean, they're, they're not considering this a real town anymore either. They're actually now, like, to get mail, they can't put the name of the town. They have to put the name of the town that's next to them. Oh, really? Yeah, they've actually been like basically uh, consumed by the other town. Okay. Okay. So they don't, they're not their own little town anymore because there's only so many people. And to be a town, you have to have a uh, there's certain criteria that you have to have. Um, and one of them is like having a mayor, uh -huh. and having uh, elected officials. 
there's only six people in the town. They don't have any electric. Yeah, conditions. and I heard that the mayor that was there um, almost fell in to one of these fissures. Right. Yeah. So I mean, he almost died. But I heard that this thing will burn for possibly 250 years or more. Well, there's a burning mountain in Australia that's been ablaze on underground uh, fire like this, and it's been supposedly burning for like 6,000 years. Jeez, unbelievable. So, yeah, I don't want to see this happening very quickly. And also there's one in the uh, Karakum Desert of Turkmen, Turkmen State. Mm. <laughs> yeah, another place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, again, one of our members over at the discussion group uh, lives in South Africa. And uh, he said that not far from where he lives, there's an issue like this. And apparently that's been burning actually longer than uh, uh, Centralia. Uh, I don't know how much longer, but uh, Mark, maybe you can uh, comment on this and uh, let, uh, fill us in on that a little bit more. But um, anyway, what, yeah. What's interesting too is that they took the, the premise, of course, and we made the town of Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. There's actually a show coming, TV show coming out about this now, Sue. Oh, really? Yeah, and they're going to... Uh, it's going to be a dark-driven drama that will focus on the remaining residents of the ghost town and, and that they're determined to preserve their homes and stuff, but they're unaware that an evil force is slowly waking its may up to the surface. Oh, really? So, yeah. This, this kind of reminds me of the uh, show we did recently about... Uh, 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 suddenly the name has escaped me. Uh, on what? That government facility in, in uh, up in New York. No, oh, non I can't remember. The anyway, name. anyway, yeah. So I mean, where you have this portal that the government is trying to open up. It was based on Stranger Things, um, but Man Talk. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So it kind of reminds me of that. And it kind of makes me wonder. Maybe that's why the government did this. You know. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Again, though, why would the government <laughs> want? A piece of land that's basically useless. I mean, it's so to hot op there. To open a portal. Maybe. Oh, that's possible. Yeah. But right. I mean, it's so hot and burning out there that the heat is making the grass and the the vegetation around the area. It's all gone. Is burnt. Yeah, it's all dead. Yeah, yeah, dead zone. But uh, anyway, yeah. What else you got? Anything? No, that's about it. I mean, it was a very interesting town. Look interesting into. town but as i was looking into this i didn't find a whole lot of facts about it you know right. so i mean <clears throat> if you watch this show you know we tend to spew a bunch of facts at you and uh there just really aren't that many i mean other than what we talked about today yeah i watched an hour <clears throat> documentary on it was like an hour and 10 minutes long and stuff and it had interviews with the residents and mm -hmm. things like that but not there's not much facts to it because there's nothing left of the town yeah yeah yeah, crazy. Yeah, they, they still do their Christmas decorations up on the poles, and <laughs> they still do their little uh, Memorial Day. They Everybody comes from all over the place and meets around at the cemetery on Memorial Day because that's the only safe, safe place. Is it? And they have their little festival, and then they all go leave again. That's weird, man. I, yeah, yeah that's, I don't know. I thought that was kind of strange this, myself. This whole thing definitely falls in the strange and unusual, you know, so, but... Anyway, yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, until next time, folks, keep thinking and question everything.